what's up? I'm Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Saucony Excursion Trail Runner 11 and seeing how it performs on the trail. So first up, I want to say this is the first trail runner that I've ever purchased. I've used hiking boots and I have used regular old gym sneakers on the trail, but never actually a trail runner. So I felt like it was about time to upgrade and switch to a shoe that was going to be better for my five to 10 mile day hikes that I do every week. Saucony is known for making a variety of shoes for runners and the TR11 is just one of the many shoes they offer for trail running. So know that this is just my opinion as a first timer trying out trail running shoes and there are so many kinds out there for you to try. Okay, let's get into the pros and cons. The first thing that drew me towards this shoe was the tread on the bottom. The tread is very intense on this shoe and I felt it was going to give me really good traction on the trail. Now, actually putting this to use, I feel like I really put it to the test on the last hike that I went on. It was a six mile hike up and downhill over sand, dry patches, rocky patches, and there were even patches of really wet, slippery soil going both up and downhill. There were also a lot of river crossings, probably like 10 river crossings, which got really old by the end of the trail. And Honestly, these shoes did really well. I only fell once, <laughs> and if you know me, that is an accomplishment. Fun fact, no shoes are good on slippery rocks. <laughs> the fact of the matter is the tread on this is intense, and it really did a great job of keeping me uh, from falling, I didn't have any trekking poles with me. I was holding a dog leash. And honestly, I felt like I really was pretty stable. I didn't feel like I was slipping or losing grip. And I was climbing at all sorts of weird little angles all over this trail. Another thing that drew me to this shoe as a pro is the width of the toe box. One thing that I struggle with with a lot of shoes is that they are built for people with narrow feet. I myself have really wide feet and a problem I encounter all the time wearing basic shoes like Converse is that my toes get jammed together and I often get a blister either on the big toe or on the pinky toe, whichever toe is being jammed the most. With this shoe, I wore them for the first time on a six mile hike and by the end, my toes felt great. I have had so much wiggle room in there. They felt really comfortable. So if you have wide feet like myself, I definitely think this shoe is a good way to go. Another pro that I did not expect to be putting to the test on this hike is that these shoes actually dry out pretty quickly when they get wet. I crossed probably around 10 river crossings. I didn't really keep count, but I know it was probably at least that many because this whole trail just kept winding over this river that led to a waterfall. And honestly, I didn't take these shoes off one single time. I just crossed through the water. And by the time I got back to my car, it dried out very quickly once they were off of my feet. And I didn't notice any rubbing or any blisters, which is crazy, honestly, when my feet get wet and I'm walking around in wet shoes, I mean, the first thing you notice is a hot spot or a blister. So the fact that I didn't experience any blisters or hot spots while these shoes were wet is a good sign to me. Now, I only wore these for a six mile hike, so who knows what it would be like if I went on a 10 or a 15 mile hike in these shoes. But for a short distance, they really held up pretty well and were fairly comfortable. Another pro is these shoes are sturdy. If you look at the sole, I mean, just look at how thick that sole is right there. I really do feel like it will last me a long time. Another thing, sorry, the shoes are a little dirty on the bottom, but they have this extra added support in the midsole there uh, for where your arches will be. All in all, I do feel like it'll hold up pretty well for a fairly long time, and that that's pretty nice. My last pro is that these are pretty affordable. I paid $60 for them at DSW, 
Now you can find slightly more affordable versions on Amazon. They have a variety there. But honestly, $60 for a trail runner that's gonna last a good amount of time, that's pretty sturdy, that fits my feet pretty comfortably, I'm really happy with that. And I definitely recommend these as a good first time purchase for someone who's looking to get into hiking more. Now, I do have a couple cons. I will say, although they have this added arch support here in the bottom of the sole, it's still not quite enough arch support for my type of foot. I have really high arches, so I actually need a lot of support. That was one thing I noticed on the trail is that I tended to pronate inwards and lose a little bit of stability. And by the end of the hike, my arches were a little tender. And if I had hiked maybe three or four more miles, my feet probably would have really been hurting. However, if you have moderate arches, this might be a really good shoe for you. If you're flat footed, it might be a bit painful, a bit too much arch support. I will probably be purchasing insoles for these shoes, but it's not something I can't work with. Another con that I would say is these shoes are just a little too bulky for me. I felt like with this really thick sole, I was a little too high off of the ground and the shoes just felt kind of heavy, almost like they were weighing me down a little bit. The pro is that they're very sturdy and they can make it through a lot of different types of terrain and you know they're gonna last a good amount of time but they're not lightweight. If I was actually using these to go on runs rather than hiking, that would be a bit more of a concern for me. Would I use these for regular runs? Probably not. I didn't even feel comfortable running on the trail in these. They just felt a little too heavy for me. Um, I definitely will continue to use these for hiking up hills hiking around LA or the Angeles National Forest, I do feel like these can handle a lot of different types of terrain in my area. Who would I suggest these shoes for? I would suggest these shoes for anyone who is looking to get into hiking more. I wouldn't buy it if it was for a more specific purpose like running long distances or hiking really long distances because in those scenarios you want to get something that's really catered to your foot needs and body needs specifically so that you prevent injury but for short or medium length distances i definitely think this is a good shoe all in all i would give these shoes a seven out of ten they're comfortable with enough space for wider feet they're affordable, they're a great starter shoe. They're not lightweight or flexible in any way, so I wouldn't really suggest them for long runs or really, really long hikes, but for the average day hiker, they'd perform just fine. So those are my thoughts on the Saucony Excursion TR11, and that's all I have for this video. If you guys have any thoughts or you wanna see something different, please let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps me out. And until next time, guys, stay golden.